Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. In only two months, your baby has changed in so many ways and with two official months of parenting under your belt, odds are you have changed in a lot of ways too. So what comes next? Here are all of the milestones, concerns and advice you need to know for your little one during month two. Growth At two months old, your baby probably looks completely different than they did as a newborn. Thanks to some serious growth in those first two months, your baby has filled out and may no longer look like an itty bitty newborn. Chances are you have packed away those clothes from the first few weeks and are watching as your little one gains new skills every day. On average, your two month old gain about two to four pounds weight since birth and grows one to two inches in length or gain about four centimeters in hard circumference. Keep in mind that the above numbers are simply averages and babies tend to grow in spots. Your baby may grow more in one or two months. They have a slower period of growth the next and that's fine too. Developmental milestones. As you enter into life with a two month old, there may be significant differences between the milestones your baby reaches at the beginning of month versus the end of the month. But here are some of the developmental milestones to look for at this time. Posterior fontanel closure. The posterior fontanel, a spot soft on the top of your baby's head you might not even have noticed, should be closed by two months old, although in some cases it might remain open until your baby is three months old. Have your doctor assesses the posterior fontanel to see if there are any concern that it is still open at this time. More weight gain. Your baby might start to resemble a roly-poly infant at this stage, more than a newborn with more noticeable chubby legs and rolls. Babies at this stage tend to hold on to weight more because they haven't started to move as much and their muscles are just beginning to develop. More movement. Your little one is getting stronger every day. In addition to being able to hold their head up more, your infant should start to make smoother movements with their arms and legs so you will notice fewer jerky newborn reflexive movements and more purposeful movement. Smiling. If your baby hasn't started smiling yet, they should be soon with lots of big real smiles this month. Recognize his faces. At two months old, your baby should recognize your face and the face of other caregivers and close family members. Coos and goggles. Your little one is already starting to learn how to talk. Thanks to hearing voices around them, your infant will demonstrate efforts to chat with you. One to be concerned, although it can be exciting as a new parent to carefully track your infant's developmental milestones, it's also important to keep in mind that milestones are different for everybody. Just because your baby hasn't reached a particular milestone doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong. But if you don't have concern or notice any of the following, speak to your doctor. If your baby is not eating well or doesn't seem to be gaining weight by two months old, your baby should have gone through a growth spot. But it can be hard to evaluate on your own. Your baby's growth chart at the doctor's office can help you know if your baby is on track or physical development. If your baby is showing no signs of facial recognition, your baby's favorite things at two months old should be your face and they should show signs of excitement such as kicking their legs or lighting up when looking at you. If your baby is not able to track movements of a rattle toy or your fingers as you move it horizontally, then it is the time to consult the doctor. If your baby is not able to lift up their head either on the floor or while you are holding them to your chest or on your shoulder, then talk to your doctor. Now we will discuss about the feed or the breastfeed. One difference 
to keep in mind is that babies who are formula fed may have slightly different schedules than babies who are breastfed. As formula fed babies may have longer stretches of sleep at night and during the day or go longer in between feedings as well. In general, you can expect both breastfed and formula fed babies to drink 12 to 24 ounces of breast milk or formula although some babies may require more. Sleep somewhere around 16 hours a day. Take 3 or 4 naps during the day. Some babies however might be more cat nappers and take smaller more frequent naps during the day instead of 3 longer ones. Sneezing. At this stage, babies start to sneeze a lot. Their little respiratory tract may be extra sensitive to irritants in the air. So try to keep an eye out of common effect offenders such as pet dander and dust and remove them from your baby's environment. At two months old, you could also try using a cool mist humidifier in your baby's room to keep the air from getting too dry to keep them comfortable. For stuffy nose, you could use saline nose drops to clear irritants. Thrush if you notice that your baby has white patches on the inside of their cheeks and tongue that cannot be easily wiped off, your baby may have a condition called thrush. It is a very mild yeast infection that is common in babies and can be cleared up with a prescription medicine called nystatin. Infants might develop thrush from breastfeeding or if you are, they are taking an antibiotics. Baby acne your infant may have baby acne, drooling rashes, and flaky skin that will usually clear up on their own without treatment. Infants also tend to suffer from dry skin, so use a mild soap and an infant safe, gentle moisturizer once a day or twice a day. If your baby is drool a lot and develops a rash from it, placing a protective bib on your baby might help prevent the drool from reaching the skin. Reflux Many babies spit up after eating due to the overfeeding or because the wall that closes the upper part of the stomach is immature. It is usually not a concern as long as your baby is gaining weight and it is not causing coughing or choking. To help prevent reflux, try feeding smaller amounts, adding frequent burping during feeds, avoiding pressure on the belly or refraining from vigorous activities after eating. This should improve with age and usually without treatment. But if the spitting up appears to get worse or cause your baby a lot of discomfort, seek medical in attention. Block tear ducts. Many infants have watery eyes usually caused by a block tear duct. This is not a concern unless the eyes become infected. If so, let your pediatrician know so they can prescribe antibiotic eye drops. It usually clears up on its on before your baby is 12 months old. Diaper rashes. Diaper rashes is very common among babies and usually clears up in 3 or 4 days with a special cream. If it is not clearing up or is bright red and surrounded by red dots, your baby may have a yeast infection and will need an antifungal cream to help clear it up. Diaper rashes can be prevented by frequent diet for changes increasing air exposure by keeping the diaper off as much as possible and using a mild soap only after bowel movements. Upper respiratory infections. If your little one develops an infection or has a runny nose, it can be difficult to know what to do because at this age, over-the-counter medicines aren't safe for your baby to help keep your little one comfortable. The best treatment is to use salt water nasal drops and a bulb suction to keep the baby's nose clear. Call your pediatrician if your child has a high fever, difficulty breathing or is not improving in 7 to 10 days. Here are some precautions for feeding a baby. While you are most likely settled into a good feeding pattern 2 months in, it's a good time to evaluate what is working with your infant and your eating practices. You might want to check all of the formula cans and bottles to make sure nothing has expired. Throw out an expired or open cans of formula that can your baby is not able to use if you have any cans or pre-mixed formula that is not expired and has not been opened. You could donate it to a local shelter or a food bank for a family in need. Check all of your bottles and equipments to make sure that nothing has broken, especially both nipples, and that they are all cleaned properly. You might be surprised to how quickly mold and can develop in all those small nooks and crannies. 
update any equipment that might need to be replaced such as bottles, nipples or your bottle drying rack. Precautions for sleeping. You can continue to offer your baby a pacifier at nap and sleep time. Pacifier has been associated with a decreased incidence of SIDs so it's part of the American safe sleep recommendation. Two month old. Your infant might still swaddling and it is a safe practice to use if your baby is not able to roll over yet at two months old most babies are not yet sleeping through that night that particular milestones will not be happen until closure to 12 weeks or three months of age at the stage most babies are still waking up and one to two times a night usually for feeding now we'll we will talk about the vaccines Keep an eye on the vaccination schedule and uh, try to avail all the vaccines on time. I hope I have explained all the milestones of second month or two months of baby. If you like the video or find it useful, then like it, share it and also subscribe my channel. And if you want to give any suggestion or you want to give any advice, then you can comment down in the comment section. Thank you.